Hey, Larry! Ugh, once he says it like that, all hell's about to break loose. I'm reading this news article that apparently our world is in the middle of a dangerous pandemic that could potentially cause the end of humanity as we know it. Or is it stick figure manity? Jacob, this article was from 27 years ago. Did you even read the date? Yeah... But okay, consider this a metaphor for when we might end up in a similar situation. Relax, Jacob. Nobody's gonna get some dangerous flu and... And then... <laughs> Ugh, excuse me. What? Jacob, what is going on? Don't shout! You might spread it! Spread what? Let me check your temperature! I knew it! You have a fever! No, it's only high because I'm angry! You need to lay down and not go anywhere. Before you know it, your virus could evolve into a global pandemic. A cold isn't a flu, dumbass! Hush now, eat this. <laughs> what did you put in that? Betadine. It's supposed to kill germs. What?! Jacob, I'm telling you, I'm not sick. I don't feel any different. I just don't want you to spread it. If you don't want to catch my cold, despite the fact I don't have one, just don't touch your face! Use some hand wash. Hand wash? <gasps> That's it! And now he broke my window. Hey you! Give me your sanitizer! Jesus fucking Christ! I brought the hand shield stuff! You just shot that guy! Oh relax, nobody will know. Besides, I'm doing this for my best friend. I'm not sick! Unlike you, you twisted bastard! Now you stay in here, I'm gonna go get more of this stuff. Oh fuck this, I'm out of here. Larry, where are you going? Away from you! Wait, you can't spread your virus! Get away from me! You can't spread your virus! We can't have a deadly virus spreading around. He'll cause a panic. Didn't you cause panic on TV once, Urkel? My name is not Urkel! <laughs> Shit. Come on, Larry. We gotta get you home. Jacob, you're insane. I'm telling you, I'm not sick. I don't feel any different. Don't lie to me. Jacob, if I really was sick, I would have told you. Because I know you would still try to look after me. Do you really think I'm gonna lie to you just to rile you up? No. I'm sorry, Larry. I tend to overreact in the middle of a panic. I just wanted to make you feel better. That and not cause an outbreak. It's alright, Jacob. Granted you shot someone, but it's all okay. Good, and now we'll just go home and enjoy the rest of it. <laughs> what? Alright, I'm staying in there for possibly two years until I'm better. He's going through a phase. <laughs> There's gotta be something. Dude, what are you doing? I'm trying to find cheat codes for this video game so I can beat it. Yeah, that's cheating. No shit, Sherlock. Hmm, let me see. Wait, maybe this thing has something to do with it. Uh, dude, I don't think I would click on that. No, seriously, look. It looks totally safe. Ah! Why is it so sparkly? Dude, what's going on? in the Mario universe? Yeah, because you transported us into video games. Hehe, <laughs> look, we have sprites. Great. How the heck are we gonna get out of here now? Aw, oh, hi, little Goomba. You look so n- Oh, of course that would happen. Okay, here's what I was thinking. If we beat each game, we may actually get closer and closer to escaping the game world. And what happens if we don't? Well, you see, if the game resets, then we're dead. And of course that happened.
What the? Where are we now? I have no idea, but this looks kind of uncomfortable. What could possibly go wrong? Oh my god, get the fuck out of here. Ah! <laughs> Ugh, thank god we're out of that world. Where are we now? I think we're in Donkey Kong. Okay, seriously, how the heck can barrels hurt someone? <laughs> this makes no sense. Yeah, this is a video game. Hello, my lady. We're here to rescue you. Dude, you already have a girlfriend. Oof. Where are we now? Oh god, this looks so familiar. Ooh, cool ducks. Ooh, cool, a gun. Wow, you figured it out pretty damn quickly. Damn it, I missed the ducks. Oh, shut up, dog. It's not that funny. Come on, I keep missing! Shut the fuck up! There we go, problem solved. Dude, I don't think that was meant to happen. What the fuck? The game's glitching up! Wow! Ooh. Oh. <gasps> Dude, we're back in our universe! Oh, thank god. That dog was really starting to annoy me. Well, at least things are back to normal now. Yep. Now I want to find the damn cheat codes. Jacob, not again! <sighs> Jacob? You saw the piranha, didn't you? Yep. So, can to explain why we've got a piranha in our bathtub? Well, simply put, I was walking through the forest one day, I saw a piranha laying on the floor, and I decided to bring it home with me. That's the simple version? The long one involves the crocodile fight, but I don't want to get into detail. So why don't you just throw it back in the water? There were people swimming in it. Oh, that actually makes sense. So what, you're just gonna keep it? Yeah. It's not every day you get a pet piranha. In fact, it's not every day people get to know about it. What are you saying? I just got the greatest idea. What if we filmed a show with it? Film a real life show about a pet piranha. You don't see that very often. I can see this ending poorly. So wait, what do you want me to do? Just try feeding it. Is this gonna hurt? Oh, I've got props, but it'll be fine. Uh, okay. And action. Uh, hey there, little guy. I got something for you. Dude, that was a terrible take. No, it's fine, keep going. But I, <sighs> never mind. <laughs> You know, you're kind of cute, actually. Okay, now grab your fake arm. Like this? Yep, and put it in. <laughs> this looks like real blood, man. Don't ask where I got it. And put the last clip there. We're done. Larry, I finished the first episode. You want to see it? Uh, I guess. Okay, you ready for this? This is going to be amazing. I present to you the first episode of our brand new show, The Daily Life of a Piranha. No specific subtitle. <laughs> oh, man, I gotta go. <sighs> oh! Jacob! You might want to come upstairs. Mind explaining that? A few minutes later. It's all you and your stupid piranha's fault. Aw, oh, little Toozy, he's fine. <laughs> Dude. Yeah, I know, that was, that was really bad. Then again, YouTube only cares about quantity over quality anyway. We better get to the game store in time. If I don't find that copy of Yoshi's Crafted World, I'm gonna kill myself. Seriously? I heard that game was a load of shit. <laughs> Yoshi is precious. Don't you ever talk down to my Yoshi unless you wish to suffer. That's from the same girl who supposedly loves me more than you. Silence! <laughs> okay, okay, no, she's amazing! <laughs> Perfect! <sighs> now let's go! Jesus. 
You know something, Stella? I've always wondered why people tend to have their eyes shut when they're thinking about something. It's like all they're thinking about is something to say in response to a question and less about where they're actually going. Doesn't that strike you as odd that someone could accidentally walk themselves into a situation they weren't prepared for? You know what I mean? Stella? Stella? Where'd she go? She could have disappeared! In this wasteland?! What if she's lost? What if she's starving? What if I can't even find any food?! What if I don't survive? Well then, Jacob. Looks like now is as good a time as ever to put on your survival instincts. And to hopefully find Stella. Adventure awaits! Now, if I recall, in a wasteland like this, you always gotta be on the lookout for danger. Any second, a wild creature could try to kill you and- AH! SNAKE! What the heck is wrong with you? I'm gonna sue you for assault and are you eating my shoe? In an environment like this, you always gotta eat the raw meat in order to- WAIT! SNAKES CAN TALK?! You're not gonna talk for long! This guy is really assaulting me with paper. Uh, yeah, police? I got some weirdo here who's trying to assault me with paper of all things. Wait, he's assaulting you with paper! This is a serious offense! No kidding! Alright, Urkel, let's go investigate. My name is not Urkel. My name is White. Jaleel. On documents, it says Jaleel White. Get my damn name right! Jeez, alright, I was just joking. Sanic. Shut up! <sighs> I forgot how thirsty you can get in this wasteland. Normally I'd see some sort of mirage. Like that! This shouldn't even be pink. But it actually has <laughs> taste. Hey you, that's my drink! Oh my god, is, is that God? Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I was just thirsty out here. I could possibly die from dehydration. Oh my, I'm so sorry. You must be going crazy from no drinks. Here, you can have mine. Thank you so much, God. Wait, what? Man, that poor guy. So I have found a lovely drink thanks to God. And now I've got to keep looking for Stella. But there's a big possibility a predator can come out and try to kill me. Like that, predator! Wow, this game works just as well as I remember it. Stand back, peasant! This predator must die! Oh, for fuck's sake. I was playing that. I'll have you know I spoke to God and he told me to survive. Therefore, this thing had to die. But I like Bubsy Worm. That's what they all say. Jacob! Oh lord, is that God again? Oh, Stella, I found you. You're gonna be praying for God when I'm through with you. Your stupid debris ruined my game's cartridge. Now it's not gonna work. Wait, when did we end up in a game store? You ruined my new game and you ruined a guy's Bubsy cartridge! You had me worried! Wait, what? I lost you, and I couldn't find you! I came here hoping you'd show up eventually! Oh, I was fine, Stella. I was surviving the harshness of the mall. It can feel like a wasteland sometimes. What? Finally! We found the paper assaulter! We caught you on video! Listen to Officer Urkel! Shut up! I had every right to! God told me to survive! It's paper. The worst of all, he could have gotten a paper cut. Okay, yeah, that's pretty bad. You know, Jacob, if he got lost so badly, why don't you look at the map to find a game store? There were maps all along? Or hell, you could have just looked. We were like three stores away from where you were going originally. All that matters is that we're safe, together again, and nobody important got hurt. Hmm... You think all this was done with newspaper, Urkel? Very high probability. And, uh, <clears throat> STOP CALLING ME- Come off my plate, Stain, or I'll blow you into a million pieces! Jacob- ah! <laughs> Oh, well, now it is. Thanks, Larry. What's up? Something just popped into my head today. I don't think you and I have ever seen each other's girlfriends that often. What? I see Stella a lot. No, I mean you hardly see Zoe and I hardly see Stella. Oh. And that's a bad thing? Well, kind of. I mean, I know we're friends and they're friends, but I hardly know Stella and you hardly know Zoe. So what do you want us to do? I think you and I should spend a few hours with them. Well, good luck trying. Stella can get easily agitated. Okay then, I'll make you a bet. 
Whoever fucks up with the other's girlfriend has to give the other one a hundred bucks. Deal. Yes, 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 yes! I finally got the new Yoshi game on 3DS! Oh god, these bags are really heavy. I'm gonna go play it right now. What about your grocery bags? Oh yeah, just put them in the kitchen. You're not gonna sort through this shit before the game? Then you won't have to think about it. I'm not. That's why I want you to do it. Stella, you should- Yoshi is more important than food. Uh, okay. I'll go do it. Holy fuck. Why did you buy so many eggs? Yoshi has eggs, so I must worship them. That's so stupid, though. I mean, Yoshi's a fictional character for fuck's sake. Why worship something that you can't even see or interact with in real life? I really hope you're joking about that. Stella? You take that back! Oh, fuck. You know, Jacob, if you're apparently good at pedicures, how come you don't have a job there? They say I'm inexperienced. But you have the right tools. This should be easy for you. Thanks. And now we begin. Wait, is that a Sharpie? Yeah, then it'll stay permanently on your nails. No, don't use a Sharpie. <laughs> Jacob, stop it. That's tickling me. Ah! Ah, uh, you got the marks on my legs! That's going to give me a rash! It's not my fault. You kicked me. You gave me a ticklish reaction! Ugh, you know what? Just, just get out. I'm going to take a nap. But wait! I can do it on your hands! No! Hmm. Oh man, how long was I asleep for? Huh? Why are there rashes on my hands? I did your fingernails instead. Jacob, you idiot! Hey, hey, hey. No need to get angry. I did you a favor. If it makes you feel any better, we could play some video games. I can't play with burning rashes! Oh, yeah. I'm so sorry I did this to you, Zoe. I didn't know your skin was sensitive to Sharpie pens. I just... I just wanted you to like me. I know I can be stupid and annoying, but I wanted to show you my more creative and fun side, and look what happened. It's okay, Jacob. I didn't know I was allergic to Sharpies either, so that was fun. Plus, you should never use Sharpies for fingernail polish anyway. I liked you already. You make Larry happy, and I can see why you're best friends. And I saw why. You did everything you could to help and have fun. I think I get you a little bit better now. Thanks, Zoe. I hope we can be good friends after this. We already are. <laughs> so, who won the battle? Yoshi is the greatest thing to ever exist! <laughs> yeah, I won. At least me and Zoe understand each other. Looks like you got a long way to go before you understand Stella. Yoshi is amazing. Jacob, I don't exactly think gambling all our money away is going to pay off for pizza bills. Trust me, dude, I've been here plenty of times before. How else do you think I afforded Stella's sealed copy of Yoshi's Island? Because she stole it? Look, we're here. Cashopolis. Huh, must be a rig joint. <laughs> well, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Hey, pal, we're new gamblers. What? You said you've been here before. Oh, new gamblers. It fills this establishment with so much greed and happiness. Here's a free $200 to start you off. Sweet, free money for free money. Have fun in there, laddie. Wait, new gamblers get free money? Of course. How else will we get them addicted? Yeah, thanks. Here's your lucky coin. Ten bucks and you can get another. You sure this will guarantee a win? I haven't been wrong. Hey, you said I would win free money! Give me my ten bucks back! It's your own fault for giving it to me. <laughs> Too easy to get money these days. Ooh, a new machine. Perfect. Hey mate, you about to gamble? Yeah, I need to earn us some money for bills. I'll give you a lucky coin for ten bucks. Guaranteed winner. Ten bucks for one coin? I'll take it! <laughs> what a dope to things people do for easy money. Yes! I won! I won $10,000! Huh? You, sir, are a freaking legend. Hey, give me another. Ooh yeah, baby! Millionaire on his way! Get out of here! I'm not giving you any more free coins. Suit yourself. Maybe these really are lucky coins. Mm. Ugh, maybe another. Mm. What the fuck? 
How did he win? All right, listen here, mate. I don't know how you're doing this, but I want you to win me some money. Take a lucky coin for fuck's sake. Uh, sure. I can give it a try. Mm. Ouch. Guess that was an unlucky amount. I'm gonna kill you! Ah! Hello there, young man. My, what a nice place this is. We gotta get out of here, man. What? Ah! Huh. It's not often a young lassie gets on my good side. Start, you stupid car. Why are we in such a hurry? I only bought a lucky coin from a nice gentleman, but now he wants to kill me. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This was my first time, I figured. I can't believe she hasn't even done that yet. Dude, she's not ready. I'm sure she'll do it at some point. Hello, friends. What the? Who are you? My name is Alan. I am new to this town. I wanted to say hello to some new people. Um, why aren't you talking? Why does it sound like there's something coming from your head? Because I have this disease where I cannot move or talk. The voice is coming from a translator inside of my head. So when I think of what I have to say, it says it for me. I'm very sorry if this creeps you out. Yeah, it does creep us out. Now, get the hell away from us, you creep. I just wanted to make some friends. Dude, that guy was, like, really weird. Yeah, his logic kind of confuses me. What logic confuses you? Ah! What the? How did you get over here so fast? You do not know my ways. Okay, dude, now you're really creeping us out. I think we're safe in here. Hmm, smells like there's some free food in here. I want some free food, too. Ah! It's so cold in here. Dude, that guy is completely crazy. I know, we gotta get away from him. Get away from who? Okay, I think we're safe now. Yeah, now we just wait. Okay, I think he's gone. Sweet, let's head home. Wait, are we in a forest? We are. Oh my god, how are we gonna get home? We're lost! Hello, friends. Ah! What the fuck do you possibly want now? We're stuck in this forest, possibly lost, and you want to say hi? What could you possibly want now? If you head that way, there is a road. Oh. Oh my god, we're out of there. Thank god! I can't believe that guy actually helped us. That's what I do for friends. You know what, dude? You are a new friend, because you're a part of the group now. Yeah, you're a pretty great guy. I feel so happy. Except I can't pull a happy face, which now makes me sad again. Hey, Alan? Do you mind if we ask you this question? What question? How did you end up with your little, you know, thing where you can't move? Ah, uh, that is a story that is very interesting to tell. Well, let me tell you, it all started years ago in college. I was just a normal kid. I usually got on with what I was doing, but nobody really seemed to care about me. They all made fun of me. <laughs> they call you such a loser. But Alan is not a loser. He is the goddess of our world, and without Alan, there would be no you. Who the hell are you? Hi there. But despite all the teasing, I was able to get along with my life just fine. Then I realized one way I could make some friends. If we all went to the movies together, thankfully, my classroom was going to go see a movie. This was the perfect way for me to make some friends. We got along pretty well, and we all went to go see the movie. Yeah, 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 that's all fine and good, but how'd you become paralyzed? The reason why is because we watched the movie The Last Airbender from M. Night Shyamalan. It was so bad that I ended up becoming paralyzed just from how terrible it was. So they took me to a hospital, and that is how they put the translator in my brain. And that is why I am who I am now. 
Alan. Okay, then. I mean, the movie's not really that bad. What did you just say? And that's why I've been banned from all lakes in the country. That's why you don't practice stunts you see in animated movies. What? It looked like a good way to do all the fishing without the work? By throwing a bug zapper in the lake? You're lucky no one else was in there. Ah, uh, lay off him. He's just a bad boy. Yeah, I've been to jail once. But like, your actions aren't intentional. I don't think that quantifies as a bad boy. Oh yeah? Keep in mind, girls love a good bad boy. And that's how I know for sure. Clearly not all girls, right Zoe? Well, bad boys can be attractive too. Huh? I mean, yeah, they're troublemakers, but they're kind of sexy too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let me tell you guys about the time I act. Oh, I just bought a book on things that are illegal. If I'm unattractive, maybe this can change me. Let's see, you try skateboarding in a place that you're not allowed to, doing some spray painting in the street, and maybe try talking like this. <laughs> Um, excuse me, sir, but you gotta pay for that. I mean, it's already in my mouth. People aren't gonna pay for that. True, true. Eh, someone else will pick it up after me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. Ha <laughs> ha! Make way for the new bad boy, bitches! Woo! Alright, now I gotta make the moves on my girl for our date. Hey, Larry. What's with this get up? Just thought I'd try something different. A new style. Okay. So, what have you been doing this week? Well, today I did some spray painting and skateboard in a restricted area. What? Well, I struggled a little bit, but after all, it's more appealing. More appealing? You're literally breaking the rules and intruding on private property like that. Ugh. Is this about the other day? About the whole bad boy thing? What? Nah. <laughs> Okay, maybe I went a little overboard. Can't believe I was talking like that. I thought maybe if I changed a little bit, you'd like me more. Larry, if you want to try new things, I totally support it. But don't be who you're not. You are not a bad boy, but you're a very good Larry. Besides, Jacob isn't that much of a bad boy. Between us, Stella just simps for him. I love you for you. You don't have to change anything about you. You have no idea how much this means to me. Hey, don't think I didn't see that stunt, you fools. What? You threw this to the floor. I mean, I don't need them anymore. Tell you what, you keep them, Urkel. I think you'll look good in them. Yeah, I could wear these myself. Wait a minute! Well, I'm a bad boy. And it sucks.
Hey there, buddy. You, uh, you okay? Let me guess. You're shy? Y yes <laughs> I've met people like that before. Name's Jacob. Um, my name's Larry. Hey, come on, you can talk a bit louder. I'm cool for you. Oh, um, sorry, I'm just shy. I tried to act more mature before, but, uh, I kinda messed up. Hey, come on, Larry. There's always that second chance. And don't forget, if you mess up, you've always got my support. Aw, thank you, Jacob. No problem. Can we be friends? Friends? Yeah, I'd like to be friends.